August 11th, 2017, Charlottesville, Virginia. White supremacists gathered to march in the protest of the planned removal of the Robert E. Lee statue. The night was quickly shut down as counter-protesters and the white supremacists started to get violent. The following day, on August 12th, the white supremacist group had another rally, and this time it got even more violent. A Nazi sympathizer drove into the crowd of counter-protesters, killing one and injuring 19. The woman killed was Heather Heyer, and while the news spread around, our president, Donald Trump, had little to say about the incident. Heather's mother, Susan Bro, was outraged and said she would not contact Trump because he had lumped her daughter with the people that she was fighting against. I watched those very closely, much more closely than you people watched it. And you have, uh, you, you had a group on one side that was bad, and you had a group on the other side that was also very violent. And nobody wants to say that, but I'll say it right now. You had a group, you had a group on the other side that came charging in without a permit, and they were very, very violent. All of those people, excuse me, I've condemned neo-Nazis. I've condemned many different groups, but not all of those people were neo-Nazis, believe me. Not all of those people were white supremacists by any stretch. Those people were also there because they wanted to protest the taking down of a statue, Robert E. Lee. I go around the campus and ask students their thoughts on the matter. If this occurred in Phoenix, Arizona, I'll feel more unsafe than I already do. I know that this stuff occurs in other states and cities, but having it happen in your own city is more of a scary situation than seeing it on TV and not knowing the people. We can just hope for peace. I don't think it's going to happen because we've been trying to hope for peace for years. I remember seeing what happened in Charlottesville in the news. I was with my family. I think it's a really scary reality that you realize you live in. I think if we um, think of a solution to unite more as a human race and as human beings, it's good to start from there in order to get something big. You can't change people, but you can have these discussions and just hope that some light breaks somewhere, like around, you know, the bend. Now is not the time to fight against each other. It's time to come together as a community and to stand up for one another. Reporting for Jaguar News, I'm Adriana Torres. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Has trampled out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored.